that one off there. Hey, welcome back to Flathead Ron's Garage. I'm just over here putting some safety wire on the, uh, if I could cut it, <laughs> my Leatherman needs some new clippers. I mean some new teeth. Oh, there we go. Well, today I think I'm going to show you the oil pump mods I've got. I'll be honest and tell you how many tries it took me. I've got my other oil pump here that I ordered and he said he didn't know if it was new or used or what have you but it's still got the grease on the inside it's dried and kind of crystallized but I think it's a brand new pump they have for 50 bucks on eBay so just in case I mess up I have an extra pump and if I don't mess up and it works well I'll make another one for the other pump let me just go ahead and take off the pan and show you what we got. Well, for some reason my autofocus isn't working. It's giving me a little red square, so I hope this isn't too blurry. Okay. First is this little modification here. I took, yeah, I realize it's a little thick, but I'm going to cut off the screws and I'm going to tack weld it to the inside. So I'll have threads on the inside, and this thing won't leak anymore. You know, at first I was real, I was worried about deck height, but it's got nine inches in here from the deck to the bottom of the pan, and this isn't even seven inches high. So I've got plenty of room left. If I wanted to make it bigger and drop it down and do something else with it, I could. But this is what I've got. Yeah, it's a little different than what I started with. Um, let me show you why. And I know, and I put my little stamp on it. I've got the correct thread screws coming for it because they're quarter twenty eights, and I don't. Oops. And I don't have the right ones. I've got quarter twenties. So originally, where are they? Where are they? Okay, here we go. Originally, I had this one here that I thought I was just going to go ahead and route it this way and you know up here right about here and come over right across the center main cap maybe come out over here but after I showed this I did not have this hole in it after I showed this Mart with his eagle eye once again and keen observation noticed that it's not going to work. Let me show you why. And I didn't realize this, honestly, because I'm, believe it or not, I'm not a whiz at a lot of things. So, the inlet is on this side. Let's flip this around here so you can see. There we go. The inlet's on this side. That's this one right here. The teeth turn the gears turn away from the center. The oil doesn't get drawn through the center, it gets drawn around the edge of the pump, in between the teeth of the pump. All those little gaps bring oil at little pulses, which at a higher revolution equals a steady flow of oil. Well, to make this work properly, the inlet and the outlet have to be on opposite sides of the pump, 180 degrees apart. And Mart noticed, thank you again my friend, I really appreciate it, that it wasn't going to work. So I had to put my hole in a new spot. And this one was out the window. Then came this one. I'm not done yet. And I thought I'd make it look kind of pretty, 
this is just rough milling stage and I had it on there and I was going to the camera shut off. I don't know why it shut off and it's just like it it just skipped a beat. It shut off for the whole anyway. So you saw this one here and I had the hole in the wrong spot so we can't use that. Um, I was making this one here and I got down milling down all this stuff here and I didn't even get the hole in the end of it and it's looking pretty good but I started looking at it with the light and you can see where I went through it on the back side or on the other side there so this one's not usable either and that's where I got this one I didn't mill it down it sits right on top of the pump I'm leaving it as one big piece I'm not gonna try to make it look fancy but I did put flathead Ron custom full flow oil on it and serial number one for some reason I can't remember where the camera is when I'm trying to show you guys this today I've got a chamfer in here I've got a groove in here for my o-ring um, and I'm going to take it in polish it up just a little bit I've been bouncing it around here trying to do my thing and get it to fit and bending this and that and so I just had to put this in there I didn't realize the camera shut off it must have just stopped on its own I don't understand it but anyway so I'm going to insert this and we'll go from there. Sorry guys. Well, it looks like it's time to go pick up my aluminum tube, but before that, I want to show you something here. This is from a good friend of mine. He's actually uh, my brother from another mother, Vernon Courier. He sent me this here in the mail the other day actually about three days ago and I just haven't got a chance to be out in the garage and do anything until now so I'm gonna put this up where everybody can see it Vernon thank you very much I really appreciate it there you go really nice yeah it's gonna be easy to put up just two holes in there and flathead way and you know there's a there's a belly tank on eBay for sale from the same gentleman that I bought the uh, blue platy from. I don't know if I want to make another trip to Earrington or not. I'm really thinking about it because he also has some front ends and rear ends and since I have this motor I can always put the stock motor in my car. Yeah, you see where I'm going with that. Anyway. That's just me dreaming. That's all that is. <laughs> <laughs> that's just me dreaming but anyway let me go ahead and get the tubing and I'll see if I can put it in here and gradually make it now I know why they did it this way coming out here going around and coming across the main journal um, the center main journal so I'll be right back well here's that Moroso tubing that I've been using the box as a whiteboard. That's what this came in. So this will fit right in here. And it fits in perfect. And I was just kind of eyeballing this with the edge of the pan here. And just trying to make a... Bend. You know, I probably could have cut some of this off of this, but... Yeah. I'm just trying to get it fine-tuned. And I also took it out in the shed, put it in the Bridgeport vise, and I just kind of 
crimp down on this it was starting to flatten out just a little in the center so it got its shape back yeah I think that's gonna work out pretty good so it's out of the way of everything let's go ahead and go out to the shed and see if we can get this plate made and get that fitting drilled out and go on to the next step and I gotta weasel my way around out here take it over and lathe and clean it up just a little bit. Maybe get rid of those threads so I get a better seal when I weld it up. take off too much because that's the only one of these fittings I got. That'll work. That'll work just fine. So we'll take that burr out of there and I made it so it'd fit that half inch line. No more threads on it. We'll put that right on here and solder it up and we'll make a little block for it. <clears throat> we're going to put a hole in this piece of scrap here. And we're going to use this as the plate on the bulkhead. You know, I was thinking about this and if I put the plate here I have to screw this to the outside so I guess the tube will just go in here and that'll be it I'm gonna put this on the outside but since the threads are larger I've machined a shoulder on here so this will fit down in here just a little bit no I didn't take any measurements I'm just doing this by eye. need to get rid of this and put a boring head on here bring this hole to size and then okay I've got my boring head in it now and first we're gonna open up a hole this thing will go through there
Yeah. I think I'll go ahead and cut this, um, drill my four holes in here, cut this out and thread the holes and I'll be right back with you. Let's go ahead and run a quarter twenty cap through those. We'll take it out to the garage and cut a hole in the pan and bolt this little thing up here and then we'll go weld these two all together. So this is what I have here. This is where the hose is going to plug in on the side of the pan. So we're going to put a hole in the pan where this is going to stick through. This will be on the inside and it will be one piece. It'll be connected to this only back here. I've just got to determine where the inside of the wall of the tank is going to be. Let me get my pan over here and I'll take a few measurements and see where I need to be on my pan and I'll be right back with you. Here's what I've come up with. Third try on this one too, believe it or not. This one here, I kind of got a little kink in it didn't work out too well and this one here just didn't work out and it started getting damaged there so I put that aside I don't want any abrasions on it where it'll fracture so I don't know if you saw that or not now I'm looking at the camera <laughs> anyway this is what I've come up with It'll pick the oil up, pull it out here, bring it right down. Crankshaft is really clear. There we go. It'll be right on the inside of the pan. Oops. It'll all be welded together though. There we go. Be right on the inside of the pan there. I've already measured. I've got the pan blued up and I'm ready to get my final measurements and drill the hole in the pan. And after I get the hole in the pan and test fit it where everything works out okay, I don't have any rubbing for abrasions, then I'll go ahead and weld it together. And here I'm just giving you another just another point of view. I'm figuring the inside wall of the tank is most likely even with this inside rail. So that's where I have this position too. It's right at the inside of the rail on the face of it, right where it would be bolted to. And it seems to be working out okay. So as long as there's nothing gonna hit, I think I'm in good shape. I'm gonna go ahead and do some measurements, mark the tank, and then I'll bring you back and you can watch me punch the hole in the tank, whether I do it accurately or if I make a mistake, you'll be watching. Yeah, I know, I think I got enough. <laughs> so this plate's gonna go right on the inside of here. And I just now noticed I'm not gonna be able to get to it. So I have to transfer my measurements to the outside. I'll be back with you in a minute. I wouldn't cut the ear off of this because this thing is gonna be at a position where the pan is gonna interfere. So I'm only gonna have three screws on it. So I drilled the hole through from the other side, and I'm going to put this up on here, and I'm just going to scribe around it, and that's how I'm going to transfer my measurements. There, just like that. So what 
I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and drill out the other two holes and I'll get the center one done and I'll bring you back and we'll go ahead and try to fit it. Well, I didn't get the holes quite right, but they're going to work. I just have to open up the larger one over here just a little bit more, but that's okay. I got a big rat tail. So let me open it up just a little bit more and I'll be right back with you. <laughs> I'm going to have to put a, a washer underneath each one of these here. But other than that, I think it's going to work. And once I get that soldered on there, it'll look just like that. So, except for holes being just a hair off because I had it flipped the other way when I put it back on there and I thought I was off on my holes, but I wasn't. Anyway. <laughs> That's the only way I can describe that. So it's going to come out here on the driver's side, even though I didn't want it to. Well, there's just a minor. Oh, the pan will go down on there. It's just that I don't want to have to. There we go. It's all still connected. So, let me go ahead and get this all welded up. Um, I don't know if you want to see me weld it up. It might take me a little bit. But, that's where we're at so far. I'm going to go ahead and, like I say, weld it up. And, we'll go from there. It's going to take me a little bit of finessing, but I'll get it. That's a lot of mental energy trying to figure this stuff out. I'll get it. It's just going to take me some finessing. This is about all I can handle today. So, until next time. Yeah, I know, I know. I, I wish I could get more done on this, but anyway, at least you know what kind of diverter I'm going to use. You know I've got everything mocked up next video I'll have it all welded up we'll button up the pan um, we'll go ahead and put the heads on we'll get the front cover on the timing cover on flywheel and we'll get it ready to drop in okay I'll see you next time here at Flathead Ron's Garage hit that subscribe button or the like or that you don't like but hit something anyway I'll see you next time here at Vlad Ron's Garage. Remember, I'm not showing you how to do it. I'm just showing you how I do it. And man, sometimes it's tough to watch. See you next time.